Alright guys, how you doing? So it's been a while. Uh, yeah, here we go then. Start with a bit of Motorhead, shall we? Uh, two games called Motorhead, of course, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of that. This is the Amiga beat em up, which is a tribute to a uh, Gold Max. And uh, of course, there's a racing game called Motorhead on the PlayStation 1. Anyhow, yeah, so it's been. Well, the time I make this video, it's been about uh, two and a half years since I last uploaded a video. Now some Jack Daniels. That'll be Lemmy for you. Did have the, uh, did have the luxury of uh, watching Motorhead at a download festival many years ago, so that was, uh, got that in before unfortunate things happened. Anyway, yeah, so uh, this is like an update and uh, possibility of videos to come. So I thought I'd run a few things for you. Make this as quick as I can. Uh, so the update wise then, uh, I have two boys now, which take up a lot of time, hence the uh, no videos. Have some of that. Um, yeah, so if I'm not working, I'm looking after little boys. Uh, Amazing little things. Wouldn't change it for the world. This is the uh, getting home from work and playing a few video games or making a video. Oop, done that wrong way around, didn't I? Look at that. A waste of a guitar. Um, yeah, but um, as it goes now, I'm going to have a bit more time on my hands, so uh, hopefully I can uh, <coughs> put a few videos together. So I've got a few ideas of videos, I'm going to quickly run by then. Uh, firstly, uh, although I'm playing an Amiga game here, I'm thinking of doing um, my top 30 Amstrad games. Years ago, <laughs> five years ago now, I did uh, my top 30 Amiga games, and they proved quite a popular set of beats. More Jack Daniels. Uh, more Pickle Gherkins, or whatever that was. So I'm thinking about doing the top 30 Amstrad games. I'll done it again, look. Keep facing the wrong way I'm doing that. <laughs> These guys always can't be behind you, just like uh, in Golden Axe. Yeah, so top 30 amateur games is one. Uh, also thinking of a top 10 or so, some of that. Top 10 CD32 games. Now that I found actually harder than doing, or making a list rather for the Amstrad ones, because uh, most CD32 games were available on the floppy disk Amiga, weren't they? 600 or 1200. There were a few exclusives, of course. I didn't feel on other Amigas, although I might have a on other systems. So, uh, that's a possibility. I was also thinking of doing a video regarding the GX4000, the Amstrad Spell console, of course. Uh, basically saying, like, you know, if it come out two years, or a year and a half, two years earlier, what could have been? Could have obviously been more popular, and what games we could have possibly seen on the system. So, uh, let me know what you think about that one. Uh, a few other videos in mind. I'm still thinking about doing some more Amiga shooters. I, um, I did about 35 or 36 videos regarding all the Amiga shooters, and there's still more to come. I'm not even halfway through the ones I have. So, there you go, rescue the roadie. Watch the flies. Oh, so dodge the flies. Give me a minute, I'll just grab a few beers. Uh, 
In fact, we go. Tap her anyone? Uh, yeah, so uh, here we go then. I'm punching the rest of the team. Uh, yeah, going back to the CD32 then. Um, also, one set of videos I was doing was the uh, collection. I can't collect all 160, 170 of them there are. Since my last update of that, which again, two and a half years, three years ago. <laughs> Remember how to jump now. Not like that. I do actually have the uh, infinite infinite health on here just to uh, keep playing the game while I talk. Have some of that. Have some of that. Have some of that. Just whiplash. <laughs> yeah, I did on my head. Anyway, yeah, what was I saying? Oh my god, I totally forgotten. Yeah, CD32 update. Oh, look at that. It's <laughs> a good thing I've got it from that fire to end you, isn't it? That's all right. Uh, I've actually picked up four more games since the last video, which I can show. I can show in a video if you're interested. And perhaps do that in my top 10 as well. Put it all in one video. Also, um, regarding pickups, my god, I've uh, picked up a few games over the last few years, of course. A couple of years. And uh, what uh, hot gets me is the cost of it these days. Have some of that. A button basher, isn't it? You can hear that. Yeah, so I'll, yeah, four more games for the CD32, but the other ones, uh, it's basically come to a, a grinding halt. Yeah, Daniel. Oh. Uh, so I could show them in the video, like I said. Um, <coughs> picked up about five big box Ignosis. Uh, Amiga games. If you, uh, if you know your Amiga boxes and stuff like that, you know the Psygnosis games often come in fantastic packaging and that, although it's just a floppy disk inside. What was that? Oh, good blimey. Good thing I've got a new energy in it. So that'd be quite a decent one to show, perhaps. I don't know about a pick-up video. Have they uh, died off a bit, would you say? Has it all been done? I've been uh, having ideas about vids, what's uh, things that might not have been done. Like I said, the GX4000. Also, um, you know, uh, games that could have been, had it been released sooner. And also, uh, also the CD32. Not have been released sooner, but had it been just more popular, you know. Kind of didn't disappear. So, uh, games like Ridge Racer were well considered for CD32. Oh, word. <laughs> Some of that. Oh, big fella. Okay. Yeah, so there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, what a few of them, isn't it? Yeah, so Karaoke, definitely a 90s thing, isn't it? Like that. Bit of Jack. Yeah, so. 
a bit early. No, I was to say in this video. So I've noticed like the prices of Etrogram has really gone up. I mean, I was uh, watching quite a bunch of uh, PC Engine games recently, and I was seriously out of bid on them. I did want to improve the collections, just a few games I was really wanting to get for the system, and uh, I'd say they've gone up by a good 50% recently. Uh, I don't know, I'm starting to think maybe uh, it's getting to a stage where it's not so affordable anymore. Or do you get more picky as you get a. Uh, you start thinking about your money, perhaps, I don't know. I'm going to wrap it up here really, uh, yeah, um, I could say it's good to be back, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how the, um, see what response is like, and I'll, uh, I'll attempt to get to work on some of these, uh, videos like, you know. So, uh, CD32 update, um, Ampha Top 30, Big Box Ignosis pickups. You know what you think? I'll, uh, I'll get around to it perhaps. Anyway, keep in touch, guys. Good scene. Oh, good, good scene. I didn't see you, did I? I'll see how it goes. Alright, all the best. <laughs>